Hello everybody again. Here we are with the Blashaka Nomads. The last time you came to us we didn't have any audio. In other words, you couldn't hear what I was saying. I wish it was not necessarily a bad thing. I might be talking out of nonsense. But we think we have all six of them here, although I've only seen five. But they're waiting on the edge of the forest, uh, doing not very much at all. I suspect that they will go hunting later on. They don't look very full, which is quite nice, and they're not too far from here. There are some wildebeest, there's some zebra, there's some topi, although these, what David describes as laziest cats he's ever seen, uh, I think will be slightly over-challenged by chasing topi. So they will probably, maybe, head off for some zebra or wildebeest. So that's the lay of the land here. I'm not sure we'll stay with them the whole drive because I think we need to just pop down the road to see if perhaps the two cheetah are around, around so that we can make a decision as to where we want to be by the time the sunset comes. I can't imagine this lot are going to get up and rush off anywhere if we disappear for a few minutes. So I think we'll probably head down towards that marshy area there and see if we can't spot the cheetah. But we'll sit here for a little bit longer. There's one of them lying next to the, well, sort of a skeleton, if you like, of a long burned tree. And so different across here from the way that it is the other side. And that's because the grass has been either eaten and it's been eaten and burned. And you can see it's just much more open. And that is not necessarily a good thing when you are trying to follow these lions on a hunt because they could easily then seek the cover of the forest rather than the grasslands. M. Ruth, I'd love to tell you the answer to this question, but I'm afraid I'm unable to. You want to know what Mbirashaka means? I don't know, but I'm going to ask James behind me. James, do you know what Bilashaka means? It means that a place that you has got high possibilities of getting something. Okay, it means a place apparently that has got a high possibility of getting something, which I assume refers to the amount of game and the amount of animals uh, that are normally found here in the Bilashaka marsh area. And certainly we've seen elephants and baboons and grants gazelles, Thompson's gazelles, impalas, uh, topi and uh, wildebeest and zebra. Jackie, uh, you're wondering about the mating season for lions and when it is. Uh, Jackie, but like human beings, they don't really have a mating season. They have, that's where the similarity ends, however, they will come into season as and when they don't have cub, cubs anymore. So basically the cycle goes as follows. A lioness will turn two and a half years old, two and a half to three. She'll come into estrus for the first time and a male will cover her, if you like, for want of a better term. And then she'll give birth uh, 100 days hence. Then she'll raise those cubs and if no harm comes to them, between two and a half and three years after that, she'll come into estrus again and she'll it could be a little bit before that could be two years could be uh, i suppose it could be as little as 18 months if there is sufficient sort of food and nutrition around but probably somewhere between 18 months and two and a half years she'll come into estrus again and the process will be repeated but if anything happens to those cubs if they die uh, through the attack of an, uh, a male lion or through disease or whatever it is She'll come into estrus almost immediately again, and so she will always have a litter, or she will always either be pregnant or have a litter or be raising a number of cubs, um, often to sort of sub-adulthood. And that's basically how the cycle goes. So they're not in any way like the wild dogs, which have a very distinct winter season, certainly in South Africa. I'm not sure how it works here. And then also the antelope, of course, which are very seasonal. Now, Sinek, you're wondering who is faster, a lion or a topi. Um, Sinek, a topi, I think, can run at about 80 kilometers an hour. It's about the same speed as David on camera. He could run at about 85 kilometers an hour. A lion, I'm told, I've read up to 80 kilometers an hour, I think you'll probably find that they would struggle to reach more than 65 or so, I say struggle. Remember a human being that runs the 100 meters in 10 seconds, which very few of us can of course, and when I say us I don't mean me, uh, they're running at an average of 36 kilometers per hour, so yeah, I mean they're pretty quick. 
Let's head across to Taylor now. She is across the river. I don't know what she's got.